In this lecture, we will discuss the muscle structure of poultry birds along with how meat cuts are prepared. So, let's start with the definition of poultry. What is meat? Meat refers to the muscles of animals used as food. Internal organs of animals used as food are also defined under this broad term. The animals commonly raised for the meat worldwide are cattle, sheep, pigs, poultry birds, which is dominated by chicken. Other mammalian species are also used as food in various parts of the world according to the culture and availability. So, the world poultry refers to all domesticated birds raised for their meat. Although chicken are the most popular poultry consumed, other species are turkey, geese, genoa, pigeons and ducks. Game birds such as pheasants, wild duck, quail also consumed, but few of them reach the marketplace. What is the structure of meat? Muscles. Muscle consists of number of muscle bundles. These muscle bundles are formed by muscle fibers, the basic cellular unit of both the living muscle of the meat. This mu muscle fiber is made of myofibrins embedded in sarcoplasmic protein matrix. These myofibrils are formed from myofilaments which is usually consists of two types of filaments thick actin and thin myosin which are called the contractile proteins. The smallest unit readily discernible is the bundle of the muscle fibers enclosed in a sheath, the perimysium. Muscle fiber are the basic cellular unit of both the living muscle and of the meat. These fibers are multinucleated and are rather wrong, long relative to their diameter. The connective tissues around each muscle fiber is the endomycium layer. Here is the schematic diagram of muscle fiber in relation to its connective tissue. Here are the muscle fibers surrounded by endomycium layer. Then multiple muscle fibers joins together you uh, join together form a muscle bundle covered in perimysium multiple mu muscle bundles are put together through Epimysium layer. There is another diagram. These are the blood vessels that provide nutrient to the muscles. Basic unit of a muscle is muscle fiber enclosed in endomysium layer which connect multiple muscle fibers and These multiple muscle fibers are covered by an other layer, perimysium, forming a muscle bundle 
these muscle bundles are further collected through within an apimycium layer. Tendons connect these muscle fibers or these muscles to the bone. Connective tissues. Meat animal's body is supported by the bones and tendons held together by fibrous connective tissues merged into a large mass. The tendon at the termini or terminal end of each muscle which is anchored to the skeleton. The veins and arteries are as well as the larger nerves are inside the perimysium while the capillaries, capillaries and smaller nerves are in the endomysium layer. Contains two types of protein, collagen and elastin. Collagen is basically fibrous protein responsible for strength of the bone that comes from calcium. Elongated protein that forms extremely long but small fibrils which associate together to form collagen fibers which is in turn form sheets and cables that can be easily distinguished in meat cuts. Collagen are the most important most abundant protein in animal body and important in determining the toughness of meat. Collagen fiber shrinks in hot water and are converted to gelatin. Around 65 degrees C, the helical structure of collagen is disrupted and the chain falls into random arrangement, making way for the conversion to gelatin. This change is significant in the tenderization of the meat cuts with high connective tissue content. Elastin has two elastic properties compared to collagen. Its elasticity only it is elastic, uh, elastic only when it forms into cable like tendons. Elastic properties are necessary in the tissue of the neck, the abdomen, intestinal walls and the arterial systems. Fats. Fat cells are usually located